Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry, where we read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Now, today's read is for Friday, February the 16th, 2024. We are reading, as always, from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, Mark 5, chapter 5, verses 16. And they that saw it told them how it befell on him that was possessed with the devil, and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. And when he was coming to the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but said unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee, and hath had compassion on thee. And he departed, and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him, and all men did marvel. And when Jesus was passed over again by a ship into the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter, lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood for twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. And when she heard of Jesus, when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his, his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue was gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, she came and she fell down before him, and she told him all the truth. And he said unto her daughter, Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of the plague. And while he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James, and John the brother of James. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and seeth the tumult, and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he saith unto them, Why make ye this ado, and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, but when he had put them out, <laughs> he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel, and them that were with him, and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand, and said unto her, Ta Talitha kumi, which is being interpreted, Damsel, I say unto thee, Rise. And straightway the damsel arose, and she walked. For she was of the age of twelve years, and they were astonished with the great astonishment. And they char and he charged them straightly that no man should know it, and commanded that something should be given her to eat. Chapter six. And he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence hath this man these things? 
And what wisdom is this which is given unto him that even such mighty works are brought by his hand? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph, and of Judah and Simon? And are not these his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and his own house. And he could there do no more he could there do no mighty works, save that he laid his hands upon a few folk, few sick folk, and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went round about the villages teaching. And he called unto him the twelve and began to send them forth by two and two and gave them power over unclean spirits. And he commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey save a staff only, no scrip, no bread, no money in their purse. But he shod with sandals and not put on two coats but be shod with sandals, and not put on two coats. And he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into a house, there abide till ye depart from there, from that place. And whatsoever shall not, whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. For verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment then for that city. And they went out and they preached that men should, be, should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. Now the king Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad. And he said that John the Baptist was risen from the dead and therefore mighty works do shew forth themselves in him. And others said that it is Elias. And others said that it is a prophet or as one of the prophets. But when Herod had heard thereof, he said, It is John whom I beheaded. He is risen from the dead. And that's where we're going to stop. That was seven minutes. That he is risen from the dead. Okay, we'll stop on 16. But when Herod, um, for tomorrow, Saturday... To 1724 and that concludes this read praise God I do want to share with you ask you those of you who will if you would go to www.7minutereed.com www.7minutereed.com on that page there is a safe donation button but if you choose not to then I would appreciate it if every month you would volunteer, volunteer to send $7 to the ministry to help me as we go forth in ministry. Praise God. Um, and what else? Oh, and if you want to get some of this beautiful blingage that I wear every day, $5, $5. And the chain, $5. Go to www.7minutebling.com www.7minutebling.com God bless you until the next read